Tanzania's Port Authority is on a mission to anchor itself as East Africa's logistics giant. The government started upgrading the port in 2017 through its $357 million Dar es Salaam Maritime Gateway project. The project entailed the construction of a roll-on, roll-off infrastructure ramp and terminal, improvement of berths and new cargo handling equipment. All that seems to be bearing fruit. The World Bank Index now ranks Dar es Salaam port 312th globally ahead of its closest competitor Mombasa which has been placed at 325th. For instance, we want to see a reduction in the time ships ranked from 5 days to 24 hours, meaning one day. This will increase the number of ships that come to the Dar es Salaam port. Also, we want to reduce the container offloading time from 4 days to 1 and a half days. The government believes that our port is instrumental to the development of trade in the region. The head of the port says, although there have been significant improvements in business since the COVID-19 pandemic, more needs to be done. We are looking for a partner who will bring in all those improvements in terms of equipment, in terms of uh, developing the infrastructures, in terms of the system that will be used. We we have seen a lot of big ports, how they are being operated. Singapore, Jebel, uh, we have gone to India, there are a lot of ports. The Dar es Salaam ports also served several landlocked countries. The government hopes increased efficiency can reduce pressures from infrastructural constraints and increasing volumes each year. The government says the port upgrades are an issue of economics. A more efficient port will reduce cargo clearance time while increasing the volume of cargo. This in turn reduces total costs paid by business owners and in the end allows customers to buy goods at a reasonable price. Experts in trade and logistics say many ports in the region continue to suffer excessive vessel turnaround time which disrupts the supply chain. Uh, automatically when time reduces on one part, it affects the whole supply chain. When time increases on, the, on, on one player, it affects the whole supply chain. Experts believe that proper operation of the Dar es Salaam port could change lives for the better, not just for Tanzanians, but also for the millions of Africans in the eight landlocked countries that rely on the port directly or indirectly for their livelihood. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.